All right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is going to be about preparation for parenthood, right? A student asked about this video, and I am here to teach this topic today. A student asked that I deal with this topic all right so preparation for parenting so we're going quickly wrap up this topic in about 15 minutes all right great i'm sure everyone is seeing my screen now at the moment all right so let's look at preparing for parenthood and effective parenting good preparing for parenthood becoming a parent is not something to do without careful thought about all the implications because though parenthood might be exciting it might be fun it might bring joy to prospective parents it also comes with several implications that might also cause anxiety right so person should not become a parent by accident right this is something that should be properly planned for and executed because you have to deal with the joy and you have to deal with the pain as well that comes with being a parent or being an effective parent being a good parent all right great so let's look at aspects of readiness now so in order to be an effective parent prospective parents the ladies that is must be physically mature and healthy right even though a girl might be able to become pregnant or her body might not be sufficiently developed in other ways to allow her to have a safe pregnancy and to be able to give birth without endangering her health or the health of the child. Sometimes a lot of these young ladies, their bodies are not physically mature, so they have problems having the baby, right? Some of them, their passage is too small, so they can't actually push what we call push out the baby. They have to get a C-section. Sometimes that is detected late and the baby sometimes die or the baby stresses out and develop all kinds of illnesses sometimes the mother stresses out dies or also might develop illnesses sometimes you'll hear about pregnant mothers having pregnancy diabetes or pregnancy hypertension good as well as being physically mature parents need to be healthy the mother to be during pregnancy should monitor her weight and ensure that she's eating a balanced diet to provide all the necessary vitamins and nutrients for her and the unborn child, right? So she must be physically healthy. So she needs to eat the right things, like so she must get good nutrients like calciums, all calcium, sorry, all her vitamins and minerals to ensure that she is healthy and also that the baby is healthy. So the mother can't eat anything that she feel to eat you have to ensure that whatever she's eating is helping her to consume a balanced diet and the food that she's eating is healthy so for example she shouldn't feed on fried chicken alone right very much so she should eat fruits vegetables consume protein milk cheese fish they're about one of the most important part outside of being physically healthy is to be financially stable becoming a parent has major financial implications right it's not a joke thing becoming a parent because pregnancy costs a lot of money when the baby is born the baby also costs a lot of money because the baby is going to have needs and wants that must be fulfilled as well we need finances to ensure that the mother can properly take care of herself pre and post pregnancy good if the parents are economically unprepared this can mean that the child may be brought up in poverty and we know that there are several implications when children are brought up in poverty good if they're not if the parents are not financially stable it means the mother is not going to be taken care of in terms of a health perspective so she might have all kinds of deficiencies. The baby might be born with all kinds of deficiencies. Too, when the baby is born, the mother probably not going to be able to take care of the child financially and take care of herself financially. 
while she's breastfeeding too, there are certain nutrients and vitamins that she must be consuming in order to be healthy to pass on that breast milk to the child. Good being financially unprepared might limit all of that and create all kinds of new problems too. Acquiring skills for employment through education or training is important to ensure adequate family income because a baby is costly. Well, while the baby is growing in the womb and after the baby has been born, it costs a pretty penny. It costs a lot of money. So parents must be financially stable before becoming a parent. There must be um, great, great, great emotional and psychological readiness. Becoming a parent changes a person's life because the needs of the baby must be taken into account, right? A couple will have less time to spend on personal leisure activities with each other. And with each other, sorry. A baby can sometimes put a strain on a relationship because the baby's needs have to be first so when parents are there they can't put themselves first anymore because the needs of the child becomes paramount remember that the child is young and helpless you know so every tick of the clock the child must be attended to so that plays a lot sometimes on the psyche of the parents the emotional state of the parents especially we know in the caribbean we have predominantly single parent families with most of the times a large percentage of those families are headed by females and it's very difficult to raise a child in a nuclear family much less a single parent family when one parent is dealing with all the emotional and psychological roller coaster right so parents must be emotionally and psychologically ready to deal with all the excitement and also all the challenges because as i stated earlier there are joys and also there is pain in parenting so parents must have that in their head have it at the back of their mind that they must be emotionally stable they must be psychologically ready to deal with all the challenges that will present itself or present themselves whenever one chooses to become a parent in order to be an effective parent Prospective parents must obtain the knowledge and, and the skills to be effective parents or to be good parents. Experiencing good parenting while growing up may help an individual to become a good parent in their turn. So if your parents were good parents to you, they were effective, then it means that some of those skills, knowledge, skills, and attitude would have been passed on to you because you would have learned by way of observation. So you'd have observed and absorbed some of the things that your parent did for you or did to you as an effective parent. So you say, hmm, these are good things. So I want to pass on these to my children or to my child. So experience, as they say, teaches wisdom. Family life education in recent years provides a comprehensive approach to family issues such as human sexuality, reproductive health, self-esteem, values, relationships, parenting, family planning, and contraception, and sexually transmitted disease. So family life education, which is being taught in most, if not all schools, right? teaches people how to deal with or how to approach certain issues that affect the family, such as sexuality, reproductive health, how to care for yourself, your self-esteem, your values, relationship, contracepti contraception, so if you're not ready for a child, you can use contraception, contraceptive, sorry, and weight, and also how to protect yourself from sexuality transmitted infection so as the prospective parents you need to know this information so it can be of value to you and whenever you choose to become a parent you can pass on this knowledge to your child or your children and that will help you to be an effective parent characteristics of good parenting now so we're looking at who is a good parent 
In order for someone to be considered a good parent, the person must be knowledgeable, they must possess certain skills, and possess the right attitude. Let's look first at knowledge. Parents must have knowledge of values, norms, mores of society if they are to pass them on to their children. This is very important because socialization is a very effective function of the family. I shouldn't say effective, but a very important, a very essential function of the family because it is through socialization with the family being the first agent of socialization. It is through socialization where certain values, norms, and mores will be taught to children. And these things will help the child to be a good citizen, not only at home, but also in society. When they go to church, when they go to school, when they are on the road. So they learn how to behave as a good citizen, to become a model citizen. So in order to pass on that information, the prospective parents must first be armed with the information so they know it for themselves, then they can pass it on to their child or children. Skills. Communication is very, very important in being an effective parent. Parents must speak clearly. There shouldn't be any ambiguity in instructions given or commands given. You understand? The child must be able to speak to the parent without being bashed or without being ridiculed. Right? The parents must understand the time and communicate based on the time. You understand? So parents can't have rules that are archaic, right? And rule with an iron fist because the child must have a voice. Not because the child is not working or paying bills. Some parents might say, oh, as long as you're not paying any bills in here, you don't have a voice. It should be so because even though they are children, they have their feelings too. They have their opinions. So we have to communicate to them to communicate to us as parents their feelings in a respectful way, right? Parents must also set guidelines for behavior. Can't have the child doing any all kind of thing. It can't work like that or else we're going to end up having several social issues in the family. One of the main ones, juvenile delinquency, teenage pregnancy. We're going to attack those in another video, right? Parents must have the skill of good money management because there shouldn't be wastage, right? Needs must always be fulfilled without before wants, you know, needs are what we can't live without food, clothing, shelter, education, right? Wants are things that we might, we might make life a little bit easier, but we can live without them. So good money management is an important skill to have as, as a good parent. Attitude now. Parents need to demonstrate an attitude of caring, nurturing, and encouragement, which will help children to develop into healthy and fulfilled individuals, right? So parents shouldn't just hug, hug up the children them, and the, parent, the children are afraid to speak to the parents about certain issues, right? Or they will leave with the idea that mommy don't care about me, daddy don't care about me, right? It shouldn't be that way. Your child should be comfortable speaking to you about issues that they are facing. There should be an environment of nurturing where there is love, and there is warmth inside that household, right? Encourage your child, right? Even if you realize that your child might be having an issue, there might be something that they are struggling with, some negative behavior, don't take it and beat it, beat them over their heads with it like a bat, right? That's why you must be armed with the knowledge. So when certain problems arise, you should have the knowledge and the skill to deal with the problem, right? Without anyone being hurt, without anyone leaving as if they are psychologically unstable. Good? So key points in closing now. Preparation for parenthood includes physical, emotional, psychological, and practical aspects. So remember also physical parents, females, must be physically healthy before becoming a parent to minimize health risk right? Prenatal care is very, very important, just as important as postnatal care, so that mother and child could be safe health-wise. Must be emotionally ready, because parenting comes with joys, 
and also anxiety. So parents have to be prepared for that. Both mother and father has to be prepared for that. Psychological and practical aspects. Problem solving, right? Very good. Good parenting now requires certain knowledge, skills, and attitudes. Good must be armed with the information to solve problems, right? Must be an effective communicator, able to manage the family's resources properly, right? Must foster an environment of love, care, nurturing, good? So the family must be an effective agent of socialization in order for parents to be considered to be good parents. Good parents. And that's where we end today's lessons. Lesson, sorry on preparing for parenthood and effective parenting right thank you guys for watching and i hope this video was beneficial if you have any questions about effective parenting please post them in the comment section below if there is a specific topic that you don't see on my channel right and you want me to do a video about it please also post it in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.